Sniper Elite V2 is a third person tactical shooter that is developed by Rebellion Developments and published by 505 Games. This game is set in Berlin in 1945 during the last days of the war. Your sniper named Carl Furburn. Furburn? Furburn. <laughs> I've been spotted here. Two seconds. But yep, yeah, you'll be going up against Nazis and Soviets in this game while you're tracking those who are involved in the development of a V2 ballistic missile, which I think is a nuke. There we go. And here's the X-ray mode. Oh yes. There's also DLC in this game for you to kill Hitler. It isn't, of course, historically correct, but who cares? It's, uh, you're killing Hitler. I'm not sure what I have to do here. Oh, here we go. Been a while since I played this. Yeah, as you've seen, the X-ray mode is pretty cool. It adds a lot of hilarious things to this game. You can actually shoot them through the nuts. So, that's something that's apparently here. Oh. Oh, I'm in the wrong, wrong gun. Here we go. Um. Ah. Uh, thought I was going to get him there. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Is that it? No. Oh. Uh, I'm really trying to show you it. Seems really weird that I'm just trying to shoot them there. Ah. There's also multiplayer in this game, which is quite difficult at times, and I I'm not a huge player of it. I do play it quite a bit, but not too much because it's crazy difficult. There's a huge learning curve in it, which for new people can be kind of daunting because the people in this are really really good they're they'd rather play this game multiplayer than the likes of Call of Duty or Battlefield I in the nits are you kidding me? you're alive after that? there's this assault rifle and there's also a pistol but you can see what they're like oh they're not as good as the rifle when you get to aiming. There's no iron sights or anything like that. You just have that little crosshair. And it's not oh, it's not a bunch of fun, but it will do. But you do get really cool things like this where you have to snipe a guy who's also a sniper. Oh, there we go, perfect shot. You'll probably see x-ray of this is really cool. There we go. Straight through collarbone. I would say that this game is definitely worth it if it is cheap. If it's a full price, I wouldn't get it myself. But if it's under £10, I don't see why you wouldn't get try it. It's a lot of fun if you like sniping games. It's For me, it's much better than Sniper Ghost Warrior. So yeah, I'll finish this mission, and I'll leave it off. Here's how you do it, you just whip these there. Boom, and I take out one and they're stuck. Or did I fail again? Oh. I died anyway. It is a pretty brutal game. I'll give it that. 
it I'm screwed. Here's another cool bit actually. I'll I'll give it I'll give it this too. Sniping tanks. <laughs> and you have to hit those red buttons. Well buttons. They're the, the they keep fuel in. <laughs> That's the one. Oh. And here we go. That looked good. Boom! That's the end of the tank. Oh. Shoulder. I think it's probably more impressive. Worth an x ray on this if you do it with, like, the help. me and that's how missions go really it's a lot of the time it's just assassinations with the whole get out of there quickly stuff there we go one thing i have to say it's bad about the franchise is the fact that they made a zombie game how do you make a zombie game in a sniping franchise so there we go that's the end of that So overall, for me, this game gets a 3 out of 5. Worth some money, not worth it at full price, but not a terrible game.